could attribute the lack of ball security to? Well, turnovers were caused because of uh, Minnesota did a very good job defensively of uh, being disruptive. Also, some of the turnovers were caused on our end by not making good decisions with the basketball, uh, by forcing something, some pack plays that they thought where guys were open was, but was not open, uh, not doing a good job of reading the defense. But uh, hey, you learn from it, grow, and see how you can get better, and that's what we plan to do tomorrow. Coach, your next question comes from David Woodruff from Wolves TV. Hi, Coach. Uh, obviously, with uh, Eli Brooks unable to play today, Sean D uh, got slated into the starting lineup and put uh, some good minutes in offensively and defensively. Can you talk about what he uh, brings to the team on both ends of the floor? Well, he's a very good defender um, at the, on the perimeter level. Uh, his activity uh, on both ends of the floor, but his offense, defense, um, he's going to play hard, um, uh, be that you know guy that's going to give you the energy you need. Um, offensively, uh, his shooting uh, is big for us, and uh, he displayed it today by knocking down some key shots that we needed. But he's a competitor, and uh, you know I expect that you know Shandy is going to come in and uh, give us the uh, the lift that we need. Unfortunately. Um, uh, we, we didn't get it from uh, some of our other uh, key guys. Uh, yes, missing a guy like um, Eli, who is a great stabilizer for this group, was a huge void for us today. Coach, next up for you is Teddy Gutkin from the Michigan Daily. Hey, Juwan. Uh, so the first loss of the season is never an easy one. But how do you think this could help this group uh, come together a little more as the season progresses? And how do you think they're going to respond going forward? Well, this group has always been together um, and, and has always been connected throughout the year. Uh, this loss right here um, is a loss that we're going to learn from. And I expect our guys to be ready to play next game. Coach, next up is the Free Press's Orion Sang. Juwan, we've seen other teams double team Hunter today, but I don't think we've seen him struggle as much as he did against Minnesota. What was it about their defense and, and their strategy that really flustered him today? Well, you know, that's a very good question you can ask Hunter. But what I saw was there were times where he was trying to make plays that was not there. And, um, you know, this is a, a good learning tool for him to, you know, go back and which we will watch film and uh, just get his input on what he saw out there on the floor and how, uh, he can make uh, a better decision with the basketball. And, and then with Eli, um, I, I know you guys listed him as day to day. Do you expect him to play Tuesday against Maryland, or is this going to be a longer absence? Day to day, brother. Uh, I'm not a doctor, nor am I a fortune teller. Next up for you, coach, is Brendan Quinn from The Athletic. Hey, Juwan, in the second half, when it got down to, I think, six or, or seven, there was a swing there. Um, and, and Shondi came out, you subbed Zeb in, and then it kind of swung right back there. I just wonder what you kind of saw in that moment, and, and that's a big moment for Zeb. How do you think that kind of, you know, played out? Well, uh, Shondi was, needed a breather, and mm -hmm. uh, playing so hard, you asked for a blow, um, was ready to go with Zeb. Um, you know, Zeb had some tough plays uh, where he missed a few shots, um, also some turnovers that he made. Uh, but, you know, we're going to watch film with him um, so he can, you know, learn from that, which he will, because, you know, he's a pure kid. And if anyone's more disappointed with those minutes, it, it would be Zeb. I don't want him to beat himself up. Uh, but, you know, it, it gave them a, a good run. And uh, from there, uh, you know, we kept trying to catch up, but we could never, you know, cut the lead to three. I think the, the – I think the – least amount, if I recall, was uh, maybe six. Mm -hmm. and, and what does, now having played a game without Eli, what does this game say about Eli Brooks? Oh, it's, you know, it, it's not a surprise to the team nor the staff that Eli Brooks means a lot to this group. Um, you know, with his leadership and also his play on both ends of the floor, uh, you can see that uh, he was truly missed. Next up for you, Coach, is Andrew Kahn from M Live. 